Hey there, this is Tyler Delaney from the Julie Kinnear team and I'm here to show you our latest exciting new listing, 32 Runnymede. This is a brilliant uh, three bedroom, two bath, renovated semi in the uh, best part of Swansea, uh, on the uh, quietest part of Runnymede. You have uh, Runny Park just steps down the road that way. Uh, and Bloor Street, uh, including uh, Runnymede Subway Station, uh, fruit and vegetable markets, uh, great restaurants, uh, the meat market, butcher, uh, just lots of great stuff on Bloor around here. And uh, if you're coming to see us this weekend at our open house, which should be a busy one, uh, the Ukrainian Street Festival is uh, here on Bloor Street this weekend, so make sure to plan for extra time uh, in coming down here. But it's just one of the many exciting things going on in the neighborhood. Um, we're, you know, we're, we're uh, close to High Park. Uh, there's lots going on here. Swansea uh, Town Hall has some great events. Um, Rennie Park at the end of the street, as I mentioned, does have uh, baseball, diamonds, tennis courts, uh, ice rink, uh, water pad uh, for the kids. It's just a, a really great spot to be. Um, uh, you'll notice we've gone up some stairs here. You'll see the uh, nicely professionally landscaped uh, walk up there. Uh, the fact that we're on a hill here is a, uh, a bit of an advantage. You'll never have water issues with that uh, being the case. And you're above street level, so not as much noise, better sight lines, uh, really great uh, spot to be. And as we enter the house, the first thing you'll notice is the uh, enclosed front porch with nice laminate floors, uh, lots of windows, very bright, great for storage, great for uh, hangout space, nice three seasons room. And stepping inside, you'll notice uh, a number of great things. So uh, immediately your eyes drawn to this uh, very bright kitchen, uh, which was renovated in 2015. Uh, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, uh, just really nicely done. And uh, while we're here, I'll show you uh, the uh, living room, dining room, kitchen is just all open. No walls, fantastic. Lots of light coming through. It's very bright in here. Uh, original floors. And uh, out back is the uh, beautiful garden that they have, which I'll show you momentarily. There's the uh, stairs of the basement and upstairs. Look at this kitchen though, come on. Skylight, just flooded with light in here. Fantastic, gas stove, double sinks, undermounted, dishwasher, just an awesome kitchen. I love this kitchen. And there's a look at the house from the other end. Uh, just a really, nice, modern feeling, open, airy space. And going out to the backyard here, we're stepping into a mud room off of the kitchen here. Uh, nice solid door there. Great place to hang your coats, put some shoes. And the backyard, which is another one of the stars of the show here. So they've got this great big deck here. Nice place for furniture for your uh, for your table and barbecue. You can definitely entertain here. Just beautiful, and look at this garden. They've really spent a lot of time and effort making this just a serene space. You've got a shed back there for great storage. You can put your garbage bins or your gardening equipment. Uh, just beautiful, you know, green tree canopy. It just feels so nice to be out here. And this deck is great too, a good size for uh, hanging out with the friends, doing the barbecue thing, really nice space. So that's the, uh, the neighborhood, the main level in the backyard. Stay tuned for the uh, videos of the second floor and the basement.